Welcome back, guys. Guys, before we even get started into today's episode, <laughs> I'm going to do a little shout out. Now, this is for your benefit, Helena. Okay. You're like shit scared. I am because we were in the car on, we were on the phone <laughs> when I was on my way to the Gold Coast today mm-hmm. and Shay was like, I have something I'm I need to tell you. today. And I was like, no, it's not even you. I'm talking to our listeners. So sit there and look pretty for two seconds. Um, this is a shout out to all the men that do listen to this podcast, but also have intentions of sliding into Helena's DMs. Okay. So this is just, like I said, a little heads up because there's been multiple screenshots that you've sent to me of men who try and like slide in the DMs and be like flirty and like, Ooh, like, let me take you on a date. And then they like bring up the fact that they listen to the podcast (laughs) and they like pull something cringy as fuck from it. Yeah. So for your benefit, and for the men who listen, who want to take you out on a date, don't tell Helena that you listen to this <laughs> podcast. Don't bring up something, okay? Just listen, learn, and shut your mouth, okay? Because Helena's here for some dates, but is she? she, I think she is, <laughs> but just fellas, don't tell Helena you're listening to this. It's almost an ick. It's an ick. Yeah. I've got one right here. A screenshot. Oh my God, you've Sorry, done buddy. it. This is what you've fucking done. One, this one man said, just the way you hold yourself in photos. And you said, that's a lovely compliment. He said, just the start really. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot more behind that smile. And he said, a lot more what dot dot. Ha ha. And he said, this feels like a really dry <laughs> Dude, I'll show you the whole conversation. I was so Like blunt. your personality. And you said, I've been told I've got a good one. <laughs> I listen a little bit to your podcast and it looks like it's one of the best. Not going to lie. And if that's not like a dry up desert Sahara pussy vibe, I don't know what else is. Just the way that he said the whole thing. Of but there's been a few yeah, that babe, like to reach out for you. Yeah. Don't tell them. Don't tell Helena. Like people listening. Don't tell Helena. You listen to this podcast. I just think as well, like, why? Are you not going <laughs> to like it? I'm literally like, don't They're waste trying to get, your like, data. Your, <laughs> but literally though, and I'm like, I actually, I try and picture mm-hmm. a guy that. Like, head button, like, yeah. No, like a, naked. But like a guy at his tradie job site <laughs> listening to us in his ears. Like that. Or driving to work, like, yep. I don't know. And I'm just like, I don't know. In a way, it, it's just for me. Like, I'm just like, just don't. Yeah. Like. Even when Dom listens, I'm like, you don't have to. Sometimes yeah. I talk shit. Yeah. You don't have to. Like, th- I'm not going to say our audience is for men. Dude, it's, it's not for I men. need to redo the rest of that conversation with that guy. I'm so ready. Yeah, because. But do you, <clears throat> do you want to thank me for just doing that? Because I think you should. Yeah, thank you, Shay. Yeah. <laughs> you probably saved myself a lot of, because that convo was so dry. Yeah. He was like, he was literally like, you have a beautiful smile. And I was like, thanks. Or he was like, you like, I don't know something. And I'm like, you don't even know me. <laughs> but like, he probably feels like he does from this podcast. No. <laughs> I'll have you know, I haven't been on the date with him. Okay. I'm not doing that shit at the moment. Have we got a name for him? No. Dry boy? No, I don't even want to give him one. Okay. Is he just, poor fella. Poof. He's gone. <laughs> okay. See ya. On that note, let's get started. Yeah. Hello. Welcome Hello. back. God, we've had a busy morning. We've had such a busy morning. A bit it's of a fun, fun morning, but I feel like we've been very productive. Do you want to tell everyone what we've done? Yes. So we have just been shopping. We did a bit of a little vlog. Um, and I don't know whether this video comes out before or after. And actually, probably after this podcast is out. Yeah, it will be, I think. We're doing a little box swap with two of our favourite brow besties across the world. Literally two different sides of the world. We've got the UK and we've got America. And we had reached out to them and said, hey, want to send us a box and we'll do the same. Yeah. We didn't say like any requests of what's in or there. Anything. Yeah. We said, hey, here's like a limit. We're going to send you one. Do you want to send us one back? Yeah. And they were really cool. So we went to the shops, got some snacks, got some brow goodies. Yeah. Went to Sephora. But we probably shouldn't give away too much. Too much. That. No, because we want to keep it for like the video yeah. that we're going to post onto YouTube. Yeah. So it was fun to do. And it I was think so fun. maybe we should make it like a thing. Holding the camera out. I was like, oh, oh, in public. Scary. I know. We went to start filming as we were leaving yeah. and there was like this hot Cringe. dad. Yeah. And like his daughter. <laughs> and like, I, shape I literally was like, don't you put that camera up in front of our faces <laughs> right now. Put that down. Yeah. So no, Hold that it. was really fun to do. Yeah. That was fun. 
So more more video style. But we just got sometimes gotta like slowly like dip our toes in the water. Yeah, like we still don't know. I mean, well, I feel like we've only just figured out podcasting, yeah. to be honest. So <laughs> the whole YouTube world, like even before I went to film in the car about mm-hmm. a song and you were like, I don't think we can post that. And I was like, uh. Okay, Helena, songs. Okay, one that thing. brings us into yeah. okay. Because <laughs> no one knows this one little thing about you. Know, you you said to me on the way down. You said let's share something that our th- podcast. Listeners I think it's cool because like you. About. Well, I mean, as much as I don't like giving boys information about me through the podcast, I think it's nice to let especially our listeners in the industry, just like a little insight to our personal life every now and again. Sure. I feel like they get more of my personal life For than sure. yours. But that's fine. I'm a bit gutted. No, but like I think it – I think it's cool to know like a little like fun fact about someone. Yeah. Um, and I was driving down and I was like. You're like, yeehaw, and in the car. <laughs> do you want to, do you want to take it away? So uh, Miss Girl over here is a big country music fan. I love country music. And I, I wouldn't, I don't even really think about, when I look at you, I'm like, oh my God, she's not a country music gal. <laughs> but I, I really, I know how much you do enjoy it. Yeah. So do you want to like tell us a little bit about it? I mean, I don't know. I like, used to hate to? it. Anyone and everyone. I'm a okay. Luke Combs girl. Love Luke okay. Combs. Morgan Wallen. Are you going to like country music festival? Sad vibes? girl. I missed out on Luke Combs oh. and CMC tickets. Oh no. So if anyone's listening and wants to f- keep an eye out on them for me here in Australia, that'd be amazing. I'm ready. <laughs> I nearly contemplated flying back to New Zealand to see Luke Combs there. Wow. Um, But I didn't. I she couldn't fan. get tickets there. I yeah. love him. And just like CMC, I have a few other friends of mine who are going. Mm. Um, So yeah, I am still going to try and get tickets. But I do. I love country music. My mum is a big country music fan and I've got family who live out in Gadden which is pretty country Mm -hmm. based town um especially compared to like the Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast yeah and I love going out there my nieces and nephew are there and I love it but also along with countryside I love like old school rock so Ooh, my dad listens. Nice. That's I mean, a dad thing, isn't in it? saying that though, like um, the only real band that I love is Def Leppard. Um, and what I, a name. It is sick. I went to my 20, I went to their concert, their mm. last Australian tour mm. um, with my dad for my 21st birthday. Oh, that's so it nice. It was just like, it's such a nice memory that we have together. Yeah. Um, that's not something you really ever even share No. anywhere. Yeah. So, so no, it was really there. cool that I got to do that with my dad and I just fucking love their music. But no, I'm, like, I feel like I'm very diverse. Like I'll still listen to Nicki Minaj super bass, uh-huh. but then I'll throw some Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me. And then I'll <laughs> listen to Luke Combs. She got the best of me. Like, I love that. I don't know. I'm really cruisy, but like you won't catch me listening to house music or anything. I hate mm, that kind of music I'm and like techno. Girl. I hate all that. So Feels. yeah. Anyways, fun fact about me <laughs> and a fun fact about you, Shay, that I don't think many people know, but they may get a gist from if they follow your personal Instagram yeah. is now please forgive me if I pronounce this wrong calisthenics 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 like the T is silent calisthenics, calisthenics. yeah so, so there's two different types of calisthenics people get really confused okay. there's like the where you lift your body weight around poles and sort of stuff like okay people swing and they're okay. really ripped not that stuff not you're not I was no. gonna say I haven't seen that could be, but like it's off fine. season, you know. It's off season, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I do calisthenics dance. Mm-hmm. I don't do it. Like I'm not dancing, but I coach it. You used to though. I used to, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm at a club called River City Cali Dance Studio mm-hmm. and that's just in Brisbane. So I drive an hour every Monday afternoon after a podcast mm-hmm. to Brisbane with Atalia, who I also coach with. And yeah, we coach the age group of 10 to 13 year olds and we actually just won our – section for this year which was really cool it was very fierce competition it was your first year of coaching too wasn't it our first year at this new um club yeah so we had coached in the past Mm -hmm. i've done it for probably about six years of coaching now this is what i mean and i don't this is why i said to shay like you need to tell people that this (laughs) is what you do like alongside the naked brow and everything we do Mm. with the podcast you also have this massive responsibility yeah with calisthenics yeah and it is just (laughs) it's what i mean like i honestly like i know i underestimated it at the start Mm. and then watching you go every monday night and like what time do you get home Oh, around like 10, 15. Yeah, exactly. I guess it's a big afternoon. <laughs> yeah, well, so I mean, especially if we do this all day. Yeah. And sometimes I get down to the Gold Coast at like seven. So yeah. like, I know you have an early morning. Yeah. And, we, you know, it's not like we sit here and do nothing. Like we 
talk as well. We're doing some stuff. That's what I mean. Yeah. I have to, uh, on my drive home, like on my drive down here, on the phone, yeah. on the drive home, <laughs> don't Silence. call me. So, and then you have to then go and train. Yeah. How many girls do you coach? Uh, we've got... 10 right now. So it's only a small, we're only a small Still, group. I've recently started a new club, which is, it's a new club. So it's on the smaller side, yeah. but they're mighty. So. Well, there you go, yeah. guys. Little mighty fun club. fact. I and love I, I that. think I can, I can really see how I love coaching dance and like that educating and teaching side and it comes into the brow world yeah of, it's still an artsy form but then i love the teaching side so they yeah. go like hand in hand yeah it's I amazing love it. but no but yeah we just don't share that no and stuff. i think as well like it just goes to show that you do have a life outside of brows <laughs> i try yeah i feel like mine might be gym because i frost you're, you're a beach gal right now i am a beach gal yes. right now although i got absolutely scorpio you said scorpio well, yeah what did you say i touched my toes. my toes touched my <laughs> forehead yesterday I got dunked by a wave and I, it was terrifying. Mm. But no, I have been I have been going to the beach a lot, but this mm-hmm. is something that I never used to do. Yes. Um, and I'm just coming in, just feeling herself. Yeah, I bought confident. my first pair of bikinis. Yes, mama. So that was really like that. That was a milestone moment for me. I'm so proud of you. My bikinis. I'm not 100% comfortable in them yet, but to be able to Thanks wear time. them to the beach is yeah. just a ma- even just to get into the water. Yep. Was a massive thing for me. So just to then get like tumbled. Yeah, look, drowned. I didn't get back in after <laughs> that. It was a lot. But no, I have been going it's to the like beach. It's like a humbled experience when you go in the water and you're like waves and then you get Flopped. And you're like, right. <laughs> this is why I hate the fucking beach. Yeah, let's and I hate sand. sand. I hate sand. I hate sand in the car. Yeah, I hate oh. sand in general. So yes, so not fun. Anyways, <laughs> nice little catch up. Yes, we have a really interesting episode. I think it's a bit of a like, I don't want to say <sighs> rager, but look, we've got a little bone to pick. Yeah, just a little one. We've, we've definitely discussed this bone before as well. I know, but I think it's something that we can literally base a whole podcast episode around. Literally. That we, I know myself personally through my DMs in the last week after what I've posted on social yep. media has absolutely blasted mm-hmm. this bone. Mm-hmm. This is why we're going to talk about it on the podcast. So the last week for you, busy with no shows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was busy. Busy. But I had two With a no sprinkle shows. of no shows, yeah. which is not cool. Yeah. I so I had two proper no shows, full ghosted. Like blocked, gone, they're not texting. I mean, I, I've been ghosted by boys before, <laughs> but being ghosted by a client. Clients that's is the more. next level. Yeah. Because you're like, I thought we had a connection. Yeah, like I'm actually sad. I paid my bills. <laughs> I can I can get over the boys. Yeah. They're they're replaceable. Yeah. My client and my time yeah. is not. So I think for me, a big thing is respect. Massively. Like having a no show, sitting there like a fucking idiot, twiddling your thumbs, being like, they have no respect so for me or my business. This is exactly why I uploaded the story mm-hmm. that I did. You did a little like ranty video, right? I did, but I, te- I called you first. You did. And I... <laughs> Can I... All clear... I need the old clear. It was it, it basically was that. Yeah. It was me. I sent it to Shay. So if you didn't see it, it was the security camera footage or in my brow studio of me waiting for my client to arrive. You look like a little lost puppy. Like I was. Are you home? Because I was. I was yeah. looking to see if they were walking down the driveway because that's how my studio is set up. And I was actually like I sent it to you with what I had written and you were like, do it, baby. You know what? Tag me. I'll reshare it. Tag everyone. And we'll I did. All reshare it. I did. Yep. And I tagged a bunch of brow artists and they did. They all reshared it. I was just like, what do people think you do? Like, do you think that I go, fuck yeah. Thanks, Karen. For n- I'm so sorry. Karen's the first name that popped into my mind. Like, thank you so much, Karen, for not coming to your 30 minute appointment. But we don't have a wage if you don't come. Exactly. Like, we're not getting well, paid Well, I could have, hour. but their cards were not on file. Why was that? Uh, were they I, new clients? No. Oh. So, I don't know. Some of my, my some clients have cards on we file. We can come back don't. to timely little um, blackout moments because I've also noticed that. We'll but see, this is what I mean. That. I've had them pay deposits before, so yeah. their card must have been there. Anyways, there, I had deposits for the appointments. Okay. So, I didn't lose out completely but still lost out. Yeah. And still to this day, I haven't heard back from any of those clients. So, what I do – I would feel so guilty if that was So me. would I, especially because I haven't looked if they still follow me on social media. I know they know they had an appointment. Side note. 
I remember we we went through one of these motions and we were both like oh, having cancellations. But you actually did a post months ago saying, "Hey guys, had three cancellations today. Not cool." And then you had one lady who I was, got blasted. You got blasted by this client. Had she, did she ever come back? No, no. Actually, no Do I you want to tell us a story? Oh yeah. Well, it was it was actually last year I think mm. because I actually remember seeing the story recently because someone else responded to it that responded to another story the above one yeah <laughs> um but it was just like I said that I how did I word it do you remember how I worded it on Instagram? it was quite polite but it was like hey but it was also like three no shows yeah I had three no shows and this was around Christmas time yep. same time last yep. year I just said I felt deflate deflated as a mm-hmm. business owner disrespected yeah like it's not fair yeah Anyways. But it wasn't like they weren't the only three. It was just like, I've had three today. Yeah. It's like piled up. It's it proper got to me. It proper got to me But there's been a few day. others over time for yeah. sure. No, but I just She got, took this one like to heart. She took it quite personally. Yeah. And I just said in, in all your, with all your respect, I didn't tag you. No one else actually has any idea that mm-hmm. it was you mm-hmm. as the client who did it. Because she was kind of coming back for you being like, how dare you say and yeah. make me feel this yeah. way. And she's like, you know, I paid this stupid cancellation or no show fee that you made me pay, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, you agreed to the policy of yeah. it when you booked your appointment, mm-hmm. hun. So, eh. Uh. But yeah, I got blasted for that from her and mm-hmm. I actually contemplated deleting it the post last year for a little bit. But I was like, you know what? No, because throughout the industry, I'd like to think I'm quite an influential person Mm -hmm. and I need people to know that one, this happens to me as well as a business owner. And two, if something upsets you and you and your moral compass believe that other people should know about what's going on, you know, like I remember when I posted it and people were like, oh my God, you get no shows. the same way, yeah. And oh my God, this like, this is, like, I hope you're okay. And I'm like, of course I get no shows. I'm a small business. It happens. Mm. My business is not, it's not, it, it's not perfect. Not bulletproof. <laughs> exactly. So, um, and I felt like I still, we both are quite real and vulnerable and quite open, mm. not only on the podcast, but on our own social media. I think also on our Barefaced and Naked Beauties page, I did a post the other day being like, all right, gals, who else is yeah. having a stupid week? It was no right shows. after mine yeah. because did you got one in Yeah, because I had a few that week too. And I was like, eh, like, and then you said a lot of people are. And I was like, let me reach out to the Facebook yeah. page because it's a Facebook page for brow artists. And there was so many comments like, yes, what the fuck, me too, blah, blah. I was like, what is in the water? Why are we having these like yeah. no shows? Or oh, it's like last minute cancellations. And I... I get like I always try and think I've got quite a strong backbone when dealing with clients, mm. but there are sometimes when it's like your client who's been with you the last two years, and you know she's like you know my baby's sick or my dog just ate a bloody chocolate bar, and you're like, of course I'm not going to charge you. Yes, it was an hour before your appointment. Things happen, mm. but I'm like and now I still sit here and I'm like 159 dollars less in yeah. this hour. You like, know that. A literal it's a little situation it's a happened spot. to me like that on quite recently with a regular client. Mm. We booked the appointment last time I had her in, mm-hmm. so there was no deposit. And she texted me, car troubles. Okay, it happens. Yep. I text back saying, all good, lovely. I'm going to waive the cancellation fee. Yep. And she just, she, she just liked the message. So in my eyes, I was kind of like, you could, you could say thank you yeah. because I have just told you, one, I do have a cancellation fee that I would usually charge, mm-hmm. but two, I'm going to waive it for you because, yes, you are a loyal client. Yeah. But the I think for me, if that was – like I can see the difference in my clientele base because yeah. I have people who would be like, no, don't be ridiculous. I have people – Charge me. Charge me yep. more. Or even I had a client in on Saturday who when she came in, we changed – just we d- decided to do a different service when mm-hmm. she came in because it was a wedding – Anyways, long story short, she didn't want her brows any darker. So I was like, let's just do a wax. Don't want to make them darker. That's fine. Yes, I lose out on money, but my client leaves happy. That's the main thing. And she said to me, please charge me what your appointment would have been for today. And Uh, I was like, no, no, I can't do that. (laughs) But thank you for offering that. Yeah. So I think you do see the difference in clients. And obviously that's a client that you want to keep and take care of. So you're not going to charge them the extra amount. There's one thing I always come back to when I'm, like ever feeling bad about charging someone's card. Mm. And I remember this one time I missed a psychology appointment. Mm. You know how much they're an hour. This one was $259. And I just missed it. I just 
forgot. It was meant to be on Zoom and I was I was busy in the hour that I was like, okay, no worries. This is my bad. I am so, so sorry. Like, please know I do not ever want to make yeah. this a common thing. Please take you know, that money. Take that money. And when, sometimes when you say take the money, they might be like, no, no, no. She was like, okay. And then like $259 came out of account. And I was like, ouch, but fair. Because they've got a business to run exactly. and I didn't show. So if $259 can come out of my bank account mm-hmm. because that's on me. Yeah. I'm like, I can charge someone's card too. Exactly. Because it's a fucking Absolutely. business. 100%. But it, it's a hard lesson. Like I have not missed a fucking appointment anywhere since then. <laughs> because I, I looked at it, I was like, well, that was so silly. Why did I not just cancel it? Or why did I not just go? Exactly. But the thing that... Like with Timely, we both use Timely mm. and I have my reminders set up for 24 hours before your appointment. Yeah. And what really rubs me the wrong way is when a client's like, I forgot. And I'm like, okay, babe, but I reminded you literally yeah. yesterday. There was an email and then there was a yep. text. <laughs> I send an SMS and a text, like a email. So I know you know that it popped up. Yeah. So. I want to talk about Timely. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I want to say this where I'm, we're not coming across any type of like negativity or bashing. It's just what's happening. But it's what's happening. Yeah. And you can go onto their Facebook page mm-hmm. where you can find a lot of quite annoyed uh, customers. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so if you're with Timely, we've been with Timely for years now. Yeah, probably Die Hard three or something. Timely yeah, fans, absolutely. right? We love them. But in the last probably four, three to four months – there has mm. been multiple blackout sessions. I th- yeah, we I remember we started off with being like, "Hey, is hey, your timely up? like?" And sometimes out? it's ten minutes. Some sometimes it's been three hours. Days and oh, da- oh. Uh, remember that? Yeah. So and like we can test test each other and be like, "Hey, is your yeah. timely down?" But think about the people who don't, don't have, have someone else, a friend who's using timely, and you got to check someone out. And like I can't check anyone out without using the Timely app mm-hmm. because I don't use like where I type in the number. Yeah. It goes through my app. So when Timely's down, I'm like, oh, fuck. But then another thing is I need to know who's coming in at what time and when. And if you can't see it, how are you running your business? And that's where a lot of these business owners are really mm. feeling quite disheartened about Timely. Yeah. And they go on the Facebook page and they're only given the response of we're sorting it. Well, yeah. We're trying our best, blah, blah, blah. And so then they actually said, you know, reach out if you want to discuss or if you're having issues or, you know, we're all having issues. So reach out and people asking, okay, is there any kind of reimbursement mm. or anything to basically say sorry yeah. for all these outages, which I think is totally fair. If yep. you've had Absolutely. multiple fuck ups there and we pay a lot of money for this. I was going to say from a business, from a business yep. you rely on for your business, yep. shouldn't be letting you down. Yeah. And like you said, we pay the money for that. Yeah. So imagine if you've got five staff members, you're paying two fifty a, 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 a month, mm-hmm. right? That's a lot of money, and that Plus is what runs you, your business. Yes, yeah, if you go over the SMS yep. amount that you get, added on, and yeah. added on. So charge. then I was like, okay, you know what? It has disturbed my business in the last few months. Let me email and just see what they can do for me. Mm-hmm. I was really disappointed with their Stop. response, and they were really wishy washy going around it, and I was like, so. Are you guys, you know, giving out anything? Yeah. It, is there anything you can do? And I, I wasn't going to – I didn't want it to be like, give me the free handout. Yeah. But I was like, you've you've caused my, my business, along with so many other people's business issues. Yeah. And they were wishy-washy and they never gave me a straight answer. And so many people on this page were being like, why are they not giving us an answer? And then someone finally got an answer and they posted and they said, heads up, they're not giving us anything. They aren't doing anything. So just like, there's your answer. We True. finally got an answer. You know, good luck. If you want to shop around for other stuff, go for it. But here's the thing. There's nothing better than mm. Timely. Yeah. We would like to thank one of our very special sponsors, Bella Beauty Professional. You guys know it's that time of year. It is Black Friday sales. Bella Beauty is having an incredible sale where they are offering up to 50% off store wide. Their Black Friday sale starts 9 a.m. Australian East Standard Time on the 25th of November. This sale is ending on Sunday the 27th and that ends at midnight. So if you are wanting 50% off all your brow and lash lift needs, you need to go to Bella Beauty Professional to take full advantage of their Black Friday sales. 
I can speak on behalf of myself and Helena that if we could fill up our cart from Bella Beauty Professional and receive up to 50% off, the May Amy Lamination Solutions would be in there, as well as the Bella Beauty tweezers and their brush sets. You guys need them. Also, the aloe vera and lavender wax from Naturvade. Love their soft wax. So that would be our little filler up, stocking filler, but that's us. Let us know what you guys get at the Black Friday special that is running from the 25th to the 27th of November. Happy shopping. Helena, we're in week two now. We are in week rising two now. With Samara. How was your first week? Amazing. Wow. And I loved that. I, I get so giggly about I it. I know. And I had homework that I needed to do. Did you and do I your loved home- it. I did. I, I know. I was like excited to do my Same. homework. Same. And like, like when I was on my call with Samara... It was last Tuesday, I think I had my uh-huh. first call with her. And I literally, like, why did it feel like I was on the phone with you? Like, it was literally it just, just flows. I'm getting excited talking about it. She is just, I can't fault the woman. I can't fault the woman either. And I can just already <laughs> tell, like, implementing, even in the last week, implementing new things mm-hmm. into my business. I genuinely just needed the kick up the ass. Yeah. And to have her to kind of bounce off yeah. while... Like I'm doing it all and kind of just as like, because, you know, like we mentioned before, she has got 10 years experience mm. on us and she mentioned in the group call that we had um, on Wednesday night, on Wednesday night yeah. that she's like, I don't want you to have the same fuck ups that I had. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm, I'm going to make it so that you don't have to have all of them and still get to the top. It's so helpful. And I'm like, that is like, you can't. You literally can't pay for stuff like that. No. Like it's life experience. Mm-hmm. Like there's no way that we would be able to gain that literally. type of stuff if it wasn't for Samara. I think it's really nice because there's uh, six of us in this Yeah, it's round. super intimate. We're all brow and lash and beauty artists, yeah. you know. Like it's not – like I think the last one she said was a lot of hair. Yeah. And this one, we're all kind of in the same industry and it's so nice. It's really nice. Even on our group call that we had on Wednesday night, it was like, you know, this is – you know, Caitlin or this is mm-hmm. Clara. And it was It was no Caitlin or Clara, but sure. I'm you know, <laughs> confidentiality. What if they didn't want them knowing? But and I was, was like, like uh huh. <laughs> what call you on? <laughs> no, but it was like, you know, you would be like, Helena, you'll benefit from meeting Shay. Yeah. Like Can I tell like one that. funny thing that she <laughs> about both of us? Yeah. yeah. Well because yeah. she when me and Helena, we <laughs> I think I've really influenced you. Yeah, you fucking I've really have. influenced Helena. We don't work a whole heap. We don't work a whole heap. We don't need to work a whole we heap. We don't need to work. Okay, so our schedule is quite similar, purely for the podcast reason as well. Yeah. So I'll I'll speak on my behalf. I do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a Saturday every eight weeks. The Tuesday and Thursdays are like the ten hour days, and then the Wednesdays like a seven hour day. Mm. And so I think you do quite similar as well. Yeah. I'll, so, I'll do like a Friday though. You'll chuck an extra thing yeah, in there. Yeah, or a Saturday. And so when I told Samara, and she's known me for quite some time, we've been working together. And she was like so shocked at how minimal we work, right? Yeah. And <laughs> so we're on this group call and there was this other lady. Um, she was in quite a country small town. Yeah. You know? But she works really long, crazy hours. She has a big clientele, which is incredible. Yeah, also. amazing. But apparently she works way too much. She's quite a workaholic. And like midway through the conversation, she goes, actually, Paige, me- oh, sorry, <laughs> should I say her name? I mean, I feel like it's fine. Okay. She said, okay. Hi, Paige. <laughs> Hi, Paige. She said, actually, so she, halfway through the call, she says, Paige, meet Shay, Shay, meet Paige. You guys need to work together. Paige, you need to work less hours. Shay, you need to work more hours. And I was like, literally, I can help her work less hours, but I don't want to work Paige, more. <laughs> let's work three days together. <laughs> but she was really like shocked at how little hours of work in salon yeah but then I can come back and be like no well our time goes into podcast it goes into training like it's yeah, not exactly. just that and I but feel like so I funny. have to defend myself to my family and friends <laughs> when I say they're like oh what do you my dad will literally call me yeah of a morning because I talk to my dad every morning on the phone and he'll be like are you gallivanting around today or are you actually working like maybe like half gallivanting i have a nail appointment at 11 (laughs) but i'm working we do live a very relaxed balanced lifestyle balance is perfect babe because you've you've learned a lot of like balance from me because you used to work crazy long hours it's what i mean i used to and like last christmas fully worked myself to the bone Mm -hmm. and it 
affected me. Like it was really hard to spend time with loved ones and yeah. you don't you get just, your shit done. Yeah. So hence where it comes like where I'm like, have balance, work on hours. I really remember when Shay was like, Helena, you're doing three days a week next year. And I was like, bitch, what? <laughs> And my clients were like, bitch, what? <laughs> You're like, sorry, Shay's telling me. I was like, sorry, my boss said. <laughs> but I also was like, I love it now. And I feel like if I change it again next year, they're going to be like, holy oh, what are you doing? But I will never work like with clients on a Monday ever. No. Nah. Never. Or Sunday or Sunday or Friday. <laughs> I'm vibing the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I vibe my three days. Um, But I also think I'll always do a morning over an afternoon. Of clients, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I am happy to work a Friday morning or, like, a Saturday morning. I, yeah. Um, yep. Because I'm up at five regardless. Yeah. So, unless I actually have something on, I will usually work it. Yeah. But, like, I am – I drive – two and a bit hours every second Monday to come here. So I tend to only work like half a day on the Tuesday after I drive Mm. on the Monday here because I'm fucking wrecked. Yeah. Like I'm tired (laughs) and it's a big day of talking. You're like, Samara, please, I've been driving. Samara, please, (laughs) I swear (laughs) I I was working yesterday. At the end of our group call, she said, what's one thing we want to really work on in the next six weeks? What did you say? So I have a new – Oh, was education. Yeah. 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 So you mine you was like the structure behind that. Yeah. And I said, I want to consistently pay myself the correct amount of tax and yeah. GST because normally I'm just a lump sum throw and yeah, go hope exactly. for the best type of vibe. Yeah. But I, I'm really trying to be a lot better with my numbers and know exactly every week how much I make, how much I pay GST, tax, blah, you, blah, blah. Did you do that last week? I did. Good girl. I was such a good girl. I just got to do it for the next five weeks. And then after that. That's fine. I set up three meetings with three potential people I good want job, included darling. in my next. Good job. S- education. Okay, look at us getting shit done. Yeah, go us. Have you saved your room yet? Because Samara gave us a little sage up. Yeah, like a smudge to- stick. I haven't. I haven't either. And you know what? I've actually never saged. Either have I. I don't know what to do. I'm like, is this for the witches? Do or? I stand here like, hoobie hoodie, hoobie hoodie, hoobie I don't know. Do I stand there and say a prayer? Yeah. But it makes so much sense because I think it's really cool that she gave that to us, especially for me being a home salon mm-hmm. and a lot of energy obviously goes through that room. Yeah. I'm a big believer in like energy and vibes and creating in like the environment that yeah. you work in and obviously having my brow studio within my home yeah. I think it's a great idea to sage and the only thing is is I don't think sage smells that good yeah I, I was and trying I to figure out when to do it my smoke alarm's going yeah. off so um <laughs> no, no, no. should we facetime and do it sometime I think tomorrow morning yeah, I'm okay. gonna sage all right let's it. do it tomorrow morning because then we've got week two homework and I'm like fuck what's week two homework yeah shit that's what <laughs> I mean I've gotta get this shit done I'm excited I have a phone call tomorrow morning tomorrow morning yeah. Oh no, it's Wednesday morning, sorry, at nine. I think mine's tomorrow. Okay, mine well, is tomorrow. It's in my timely. Yeah. So <laughs> timely don't crash because then we don't know when Samara's calling. Literally, this is why <laughs> we need you. But no, I'm um I'm actually so excited yeah. for this. Even just like the energy that like was going through the group call was really yeah. nice. So yeah, it's lovely. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I'm so ex- we'll keep you guys updated. Like we'll see Absolutely. you on week three, fortnight. I think we should do like a massive when we do finish the six week course, which will be end of November. A recap. The podcast will be ended by then, Where I think. Not like no, oh god, not like there. Eh, We're just having a little like break. Yeah, like we have the break to like we set it up. We literally probably about six months ago we set dates for recording mm-hmm. and releasing mm-hmm. the podcast, and we tend to take the. Christmas period off because yeah. we're both flat bickies Busy with girl. clients. But I think you and I right now should commit to a recording of at the end of our six weeks. I would Samara. love that. Yeah, and we can check in. Sit down, recap. Heck, let's see what Samara's doing and get her on. Okay. Yeah, I think that'd be fun because <laughs> then that. we can – because I just think we're literally not even two weeks into it yet and we're both so the excited. Yeah. That's what I mean. We're at the excitement stage of it. But once we start implementing stuff into our businesses and the structure mm-hmm. and when we get to the end of the six weeks, I think it's going to – our whole outlook will change. I'm so ready. Yeah. We are going to wrap it up there. Mm. Um, thank you so much for listening as always, I've had guys. So much fun. We're, we've, we're in our new studio. Yeah. We switched it up a little bit. So if you're watching the YouTube style, we just put ourselves in a corner 
And I'm vibing it. I'm vibing it too. I love the couch. We also filmed some of our YouTube part one. Yes. Today as well. So make sure you guys go check that out. So excited. I think it's cool. I reckon we almost start a thing up that we do something okay. like that. Yay. Also a little um, shout out to our podcast Facebook group, Bare Faced and Naked Beauties. Popping it's off. It's popping. Which what we is what, what we always wanted. Yeah. Side note though, I would like to set a little reminder do you know what I'm going to say? You're not allowed in unless you answer the questions. Answer the questions. Yep. So, look. It just helps us know yeah. that you're not a weirdo trying to get in the club. Yeah. Because um, we have weirdos trying to get in the club. We have weirdos trying to get in the club. But we also think it's also so nice to see the feedback. One, where you're from in the world yep. is so cool. Yep. Two, what your business is and actually what your favourite episode is yeah. of ours. Because we, it's kind of like research for yep. us. So, yeah, just so you know, if you don't answer the questions, unfortunately, you don't get let in and we have like, access. Me and Helena call each other and we're like, are you going to let her in? And I'm like, she didn't answer the questions. Are you? No? Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, girl. Love. Yeah. So, <laughs> and like some people really go for it it's in so it. nice and i'm like she did you see that she just said she really loved episode nine <laughs> <laughs> so it's really lovely but i also would like to say next episode i would love to touch a little bit more on my weight loss surgery okay mama yeah so because your girl's at 40 kilos oh ah, congratulations Yay. so and i'll nearly be i'll be 12 months post-op in two months fuck what that the hell? That is insane. Like, where did that time this go? Year is gone. So, Boring. so wild. But, um, okay, yeah. we'll do a bit of catch up. Yeah, a bit of a catch up. Okay, done. Amazing. Well, as always, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to us. We love you we all. We love you guys. We're very grateful. Very grateful. <laughs> and obviously, for our sponsors as well, very grateful for them. Wow. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love you. Bye. Bye. I'm not doing the laugh. I'm not doing it. We would like to take this time to thank one of our amazing sponsors, Lash Rescue. Are you looking at taking your lash and brow growth to the next level? Lash Rescue offers a wide range of products that are here to help. Since 2020, Lash Rescue has been saving lashes and brows with their signature serums, oils and mascaras that are stocked over at Bella Beauty Professional for both customers and wholesale stockists. Thank you, Lash Rescue, for your ongoing love and support and for sponsoring the podcast. Yay! <laughs>